Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to see how to simulate uh, the frequency response of given system uh, in Scilab platform. So in control systems, uh, in order to find the frequency response of a given transfer function, we do have uh, several graphical techniques like board plot, polar plot, M and N circle and Nichols chart and all. So in this video, we consider board plot. The board plot is a frequency response plot of the system given the transfer function of a system. And uh, this board plot is basically uh, consists of uh, two graphs. One is a plot of the magnitude of the sinusoidal transfer function given with respect to the frequency. And another plot is the phase angle, phase plot. Uh, the phase angle of the sinusoidal transfer function with respect to the frequency. So here we have the unity feedback system uh, which is having the open loop transfer function given here is g of s is equal to k divided by s plus 2 into s plus 4 into s plus 5 where k is equal to 200. And we are not going for the theoretical analysis here. Uh, so the complete sketch of uh, magnitude plot and the phase plot with respect to uh, the frequencies are uh, shown and uh, what is the gain margin value at phase crossover frequency and what is the phase margin value at gain crossover frequency are uh, already given. So this is what we are going to observe in Scilab platform. So here the frequencies, the different frequencies uh, actually considered based on the corner frequencies and uh, the magnitude plot is uh, drawn with, between the magnitude value found with respect to the frequency. And this phase plot is actually drawn between the phase angle with respect to the frequency. Okay, let's see how to perform this uh, board plot and the frequency response of given transfer function in Scilab software. So open the Scilab software and uh, just with this console window we can execute uh, uh, individual commands and perform the frequency response. But instead if we want to uh, execute a set group of commands together we may go to sci notes so go to applications from the menu and open sci notes so let me say this uh, sci notes page i give the name board plot so this is saved with the extension dot ace so initial is a basic commands to be given are CLC clear console and to clear variable and close a predefined variable we use clear and close commands. Then S we define S as a polynomial function so percentage S lets the variable S as a polynomial function a variable used to define polynomials. So I define the open loop transfer function given open loop transfer function by the variable g and uh, the system uh, transfer function can be defined with the command syslin syslin linear system and inside the bracket we do give uh, in the single quotes uh, c the continuous time system comma so first we give the numerator term so in the transfer function we have a, a numerator k k that is equal to 200 so 200 comma then we put all uh, denominator terms that is s plus 2 into s plus 4 into s plus 5 so that's it uh, this is uh, the open loop transfer function given open loop transfer function and you know uh, the syslin the command is used to define linear system so let us save and execute and uh, verify the transfer function open loop transfer function in the console window the command window now type g and enter yeah we have the open loop transfer function 200 divided by uh, the denominator terms are uh, multiplied all the terms are multiplied together so we have s power 3 plus 11 s squared plus 38 s plus 40 so this is the open loop transfer function given and to have the board plot we use the command board of the transfer uh, function variable that is g so now save the program and uh, simulate it 
so this shows uh, the two plots one is the magnitude and another one is phase angle uh, the phase plot with respect to the frequencies okay and if we want uh, the frequency that in radians so in the command board of g comma in the single quote we give rad radian which will save and simulate it which will uh, give the plot of magnitude and phase angle with respect to the frequency in radians per second so these are the two plots we observed in scilab so next to determine uh, gain margin and phase margin uh, for the gain margin uh, at uh, phase crossover frequency so two variables are there so giving it in the square bracket so for the gain margin let me give gm and uh, that is actually uh, measured at phase crossover frequency so the command we use here is g underscore margin this command results the gain margin value uh, associated and its associated frequency that is phase crossover frequency then for phase margin uh, the similarly we have a, a variable to define phase margin that is measured at gain crossover frequency the command used here is p underscore margin that is the phase margin and its associated corner frequency gain crossover frequency so to verify this value uh, save and simulate it and uh, go to command window and here uh, let us uh, type those two variables uh, gain margin and phase crossover frequency gm comma pcf that is what we defined enter so here we are having the values of gain margin and phase crossover frequency but the frequency given here is in hertz not in radians per second so the phase crossover frequency given here is 6.2 radian per second and the gain margin is 5.5 decibel so we have the same gain margin value but the phase crossover frequency given here is in hertz not in radian per second so next let's see the phase margin and the gain crossover frequencies also we defined so the phase margin value here is 23.490472 and gain crossover frequency is 0.712 in hertz but here in radians it is 4.5 gain crossover frequency and phase margin is uh, it is 23 degree so let us verify the frequency in radians per second also the phase crossover frequency in hertz is 0.981097 and it in radian per second it is approximately 6.2 radian per second and the gain crossover frequency in hertz it is 0.717282 and converting it in radians per second we get approximately 4.5 radians per second so hope you understood how to uh, perform the board plot and the frequency response of uh, given transfer function in scilab software thank you